I will write down the sentence of two. It makes sense, but then I write a paragraph, and then it kind of gets confusing. I kind of have the documents on Google Docs if you want to stare at it. But the, like after a while, it's like, I just don't convey the thought very well, or the, like, I miss articles. I'm always using not um, uncon a readable, like if someone reads it, they will, will either quietly just say, oh, okay, this works, because they haven't actually sat down and read it. Like they just read highlights and like you could skim through it and somewhat get a better idea than actually sitting down and being like, da, 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 oh, this is wrong. What do you mean in this? And it gets confusing. Junior, it's junior year, I think, for high school when you're eleventh. Yeah, is that when you have Ruggiano as a teacher? Haha, -ha. she's gone now, so no worries about her. But she, uh, she's one of the people that um, kind of knows the problem apparently, but was always just saying, oh, "Just redo it," and that was kind of frustrating on my part. So I'm like, okay, this is my last year of English mandatory thing. I still need to do some English writing credit of some sort. So I thought college writing, and I don't need to do another year of, oh, this is English 101, or um, oh, what would you call it, um, mandatory English class. <laughs> and, and with that one, it's college writing, and you had to get a certain um, essay score, which was like 28, and I got like um, 29, like barely passing. Because um, I understand the principles of logistics easily because writing selecting the bubble and saying oh this is um this article goes here like the or whatever the writing this is what happens when you go out of school for three years you just lose information <laughs> then the the primary the worst thing yeah you could usually do is that you kind of just like, okay, I'll just quickly do the problem. And that like makes the problem way worse. And that's why it's writing disconnect. I start sounding like a five-year-old when I am 18 years old. And my teacher is like, I don't get why you keep doing this. You talk intelligently in class. You don't really have problems with what we're saying or doing. You follow the lessons very well. But when you turn in an essay and I actually sit down and read it, it doesn't make sense for your personality, your intelligence, and what usually you convey. Like I could see remnants of like, if you were five years old, you would be like this, <laughs> trying to do a quick hash job of a college writing class, which I thought, oh, okay, well, thanks teacher, that helps. <laughs> She's like, we're going to actually see if this is a problem by having you do an IQ test to actually deem if you're supposed intelligence that seems to be there is actually there, which was lucky for me was there. And then she's like, okay, we get to just accommodate you. And just like when you do class assignments, you just get longer times to do it. And you just go over to a specialist with the writing disability and just be like, okay, make sure you do over the assignment. And primarily that worked. It helped when I was focusing on the assignment stuff. When I'm out of school right now, this is like, I completely space it and then I have to sit down and be like, I am slowly typing this to make sure I don't do anything. So I tend to have short paragraphs with emails and I try to make sure that I appear as informal because formal writing does it very badly. <laughs> and, that does, and then that, that's the uh, other thing too. It's like, I rather talk to people than text people that's another thing too, which makes me f seem very out of place with my generation because apparently all we do is text and call. Well, not call, but just text essentially. And I think that's probably more, it's probably more my generation be like, okay, I could easily text someone in two seconds more than I could call them up, say hello, get over the awkwardness of calling some person up actually, and then actually start talking about what we're doing or whatnot. Well, I'm to the point where it's like, oh, I could totally understand why calling people makes more sense. And it kind of creates that displacement of, oh, you're kind of out of the normal thought process that everyone else keeps having, which is a struggle. And that's why I'm kind of doing this interview to say, this is a problem. And you can't really ignore it because you're going to get to a point where you're in the business of some sort. You're going to have to write 
something down and you have to take two hours just to make sure nothing's really that bad when you're writing about maybe one page and they expect maybe 20 pages. And then again, I haven't really took a serious college class. I did do a technicals college. That was always fun. <laughs> and then I'm just talking because I'm like, I don't know, remember how to just put this down. But the writing detachment or writing disability or whatever you want to call it is dysgraphia, which essentially covers most of what I just said. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I completely forget what I was writing about three months ago, reread what I was doing, I'd be like, I don't get what was I writing here because I completely forgot. My mind's not automatically like fixing it, which it doesn't help. But then it's like, I could say, oh, uh, I had, if we ever see um, JCP Gray on We Must Kill the Penny, because the penny is pointless. The penny is not actually saving anyone's economical sense of financial time or actual give them opportunities to do anything beyond collect pennies in a jar that sits on your counter for maybe 20 years or so, just because that's how much pennies don't go into circulation. They just end up in jars or in trashes, which is a literal problem. And they cost more, which a penny is like 1.5 more cost to make than its actual worth, which is always, when I was writing, it was like, the penny cost is 1.8, then it's arbitrary worth, or so I use like complicated nouns to kind of convolute what I'm trying to say when it's easy to say, oh, the penny just costs 